All right, we got a siege coming up. Let's make it happen. He was a northerner who allied himself at the beginning of the war with the Confederacy because his wife was a native of Virginia. I believe a native of Virginia and he was loyal to the Confederacy throughout the war he resigned once he was the general who was in charge of Vicksburg right now 158 years ago and again if you guys are just tuning in this mod and salute and kudos to the mod makers I'm enjoying this mod very much but um this is a work in progress and I hope these guys continue to update it because it's awesome No deserters, Jim. So this is our first siege. And that was 2nd South Carolina String Band. And here come the Yankees. William H. L. Wallace is from my home town, my home county. Got a lot of respect for William Wallace, man. General Wallace, he was kick ass. Awesome. Not letting him reinforce it. Me and Claiborne.
Good little start to tonight's adventure. If I'm a little quiet during this recording, it's because my teeth are killing me. My head hurts. <coughs> Forgive me. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's a rainy, humid day here, like a rainforest in Gettysburg. And so, the Orphan Brigade is on the move. And we are up in them, our hills with Tennessee Jed. All right, six Kentucky volunteers, so we're still a captain. So we'll be putting together our platoons. So I'm gonna to put together platoons being led by different companions and those platoons would be outfitted as Orphan Brigade. It's like 4th Kentucky. I want to do 4th Kentucky Cavalry because that's what my ancestor was in. And then 6th Kentucky because we have the banners. And um, I've got a Blackburn Guard flag that I put in there. And uh, so 6th Kentucky, 1st Tennessee, and probably 4th Kentucky Cavalry or maybe Hood's Texas Cavalry would work. So that's cool. So that's what I'm looking at. And I'm just having a relaxing day, my friends. I'm getting chores done. Things that have been put off for far too long the past couple of months. This year, I should say. But that was fun. Enjoying the hell out of this mod. All right, good fight. Let's get in another one. Let's go get Sherman. Come back, Uncle Billy. We're not going to catch him. And it is June 22nd, 1862. Oh, my coffee maker broke, so I'm back to making drip pour coffee. And we'll make some coffee Civil War style sometime. As you guys imagine, it's a... Uh, pretty simple so maybe we'll do that at the opening of our show and tell because I can always use a cup of coffee oh Prentice Halleck Howard we kicked Howard's ass what's he got oh oh he's got Breckenridge shit damn it if we could break him out you're the man you're the man come on brother come get me that's it, Sonny. Come on, Sonny Jim. Shit, these generals are all too close. Oh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Oh, and he went in. He's going to drop Breckenridge off. Come get me, sweetheart. Come on, you turds. Oh, you bastards. Oh, playing possum with the man. Oh, you bastards, man. I wanted to rescue Breckenridge. Come on, you turd, you still got him? You don't, you turd. He dropped off all of his prisoners into Louisville. So Breckenridge is on his own. We can't... Let's get back home up in them Thar Hills. We'll hook up with General Pemberton and see what quests we got. I don't think we have any. Bitchin'. Fort Henry. Let's get to Fort Henry and join the army so we can ride along with him, attach ourselves to uh, Pemberton's forces. Pemberton was a northerner. He was a northerner who allied himself at the beginning of the war with the Confederacy because his wife was a native of Virginia, I believe a native of Virginia, and he was loyal to the Confederacy throughout the war. He resigned once. Jeff Davis offered him a, another position the very next day and he accepted. He was the general Pemberton was the general who was in charge of Vicksburg. Right now, 158 years ago, Pemberton would have been mopping up and putting together what he had left of his army in defense of Vicksburg, which Vicksburg happened the same three days as the Battle of Gettysburg. Two major Confederate losses that marked the end, the beginning of the end of the Civil War. Was shit, you guys, this week. One of the most important weeks in American history. And Pemberton had a big, big beard. Twice as big as mine. He had a big, long beard. 
he uh, was involved in all of that history. So yeah, I put a first Tennessee on Leonidas because he did command the first Tennessee for a while. So we'll stick with Lee, Uncle Leo. He was loved by his men. He was loved by the first Tennessee. And that's what Sam Watkins writes. Oh, 166, 173. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Welcome to living history as it was loved. Yeah, we got to get some food, my friends. Powder time. You don't leave the army, huh? You get hung. Banners are looking good. I texturize a lot of them. A lot of the banners were absolutely kick-ass. And again, if you guys are just tuning in, this mod, and salute and kudos to the mod makers. I'm enjoying this mod very much. But um, this is a work in progress, and I hope these guys continue to update it because it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Prayer. Sorry for the views, guys. There's no cam. Oh, don't kill Destiny. Come on, Clara. Kick some ass. Get that pistol out, baby. Yep, they're my boys are retreating, my skirmishers. Let's get back in the fight and lead our men to victory. That's a hell of a line. You need to tighten them up or put them in rows of three or four. Well, let's we'll see what we can do. Not much, I imagine. Yep. Yep. 
Well, that was fun. I got popped in the head twice. <laughs> no mercy, baby. That's the Civil War. You get hit with the mini ball, you're done. You might as well uh, be getting hit with a golf ball shot out of a cannon, out of a bazooka. Ridiculous fights of the night. Honored to have fought by your side. Traveling to Fort Henry, we are mustering our forces. Chief of Staff is some of the generals of the army. Going to Fort Henry. And stay tuned, my friends. We will continue. We get some more action.